close your eyes and take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And then with the next breath and the next. You want to keep at this. As the Buddha said, one of the ways you bless yourself is by, when you take on a job, you see it all the way through the end, to the end. You don't leave a lot of unfinished business hanging around. Anagula jagamanta, etamang galamutamang. Jobs that are not left hanging. It's a, it's a great blessing. Because you see so many people with good intentions and they don't get very far. It seems that in this world the people with evil intentions are the ones who carry through their evil intentions. But good intentions tend to be very weak, which is a shame. It should be the other way around. Because when you realize that your intentions are leading to something that's harmful, why follow through? But for the most part we don't look at our intentions and we don't even look at our actions that carefully. We just think about what we want. We go for what we want. And as a result, our lives are like the motions of dust boats in the air. They go here, there, here, there, here, there, up, down, left, right, without any direction. So you want to make up your mind that you're going to do something, you're going to do it well. There are four things the Buddha said for that would see a good determination through. One is you have discernment to begin with. You see this is a good thing that you want to do. And you also think about the ways to get it done most efficiently, most skillfully. Once you've used your discernment to choose a good task and choose a good goal, then you're true. You're true to sticking with it. You don't let yourself get deflected by other things. And then there are going to be things you have to give up. This is the hard part for a lot of people. We want all our pleasures. We want to have our cake and eat it too. No, no, that we would have lots and lots of cakes. But it's like planting a, a garden. Some trees are nice to have, but then they kill other trees in the garden. So you have to decide which, which trees do you really want. You can't have just every tree you want in the garden, or every flower, every plant. You have to choose which are the ones that are going to be poisonous to the good ones. We can't have just every pleasure we want. We have to choose which ones are worthwhile. As the Buddha said, the sign of a wise person is if you see that there's a greater pleasure that comes from abandoning a lesser pleasure, you're willing to give up the lesser pleasure for the sake of the greater one. The problem is that sometimes the greater pleasures take time, and they require effort and skill. But then you ask yourself, well, what do you want to accomplish in this life? What do you want to leave behind? If you were to draw a map of your life, what kind of map would it look like? The ideal map is one where you set a good goal for yourself and you see it all the way through. Now to see it all the way through requires that the mind be calm as you do this. You don't get worked up about how difficult it is to stick with your task and how difficult it is to, to give up other things. You keep the mind on an even keel, keel all the way through. These are good things to think about today. We're going to have an ordination after the meal. Our candidate. Dax has made up his mind that this is a good goal that he wants to follow. And so we want to encourage him in his discernment and his truthfulness and his ability to give things up when he has to, to make sacrifices, and in keeping his mind calm. We want him to know that he's not the only one working on this, that there are other people giving their support, both from the side of the lay people and from the side of the monks. As I say, when someone ordains, the deva is like it. They say, ah, a student of the, or a disciple of the, no, of the, the Blessed One has gone forth into battle. So we're to make sure that he wins the battle, he sees it all the way through. And that way he gives a blessing to himself, and it's a blessing for the people around him, too. So make sure that you set good goals for yourself, and then look around. If you see other people setting good goals for themselves, you want to encourage them. It's working together like this that we all go to a good destination.